In this video, I'm going to show you how to add vertical scrolling and horizontal scrolling to that content which is there in the frame. I have a frame in Figma called Love Screen and I have a couple of groups in the screen. Let's see how to add horizontal scroll to this group and vertical scroll to this call log. So I have call log group which is bigger than the screen and you can see here. I can see that a lot of call details here which are out of that my screen. And here also type of calls that I have here, which is out of that my screen. And if you want to see this within the screen itself, what we have to do is we have to convert them into frames. Let's see how to do that. So just select this and you can see here, right click on this and just say frame selection. You can see that now entire thing has become a frame and let us name it as in call types. So select this and you can see here clip content and if I select this I can I can see the content within the frame itself. So but frame size is still here. Let us decrease that only the frame size. Select the frame and just we need to decrease that frame size still. That you can see here. So automatically the content will be visible within this frame selection itself. This is how we can use that clip content. So so if you want to use horizontal scroll let's see that how to do that let me adjust till here itself right and if you want to apply that horizontal scroll to this select this let us go back to that prototype and you can just see overflow behavior and it is supposed to be horizontal scroll that's all let us test it now so how it is going to look like i can see here i can just scroll it you can see how beautiful it is. Let me close this. And now when it comes to that vertical scroll, you can see here. So each call detail is a single group that I've grouped all all the call details as a single group. Let's see how to add vertical scrolling to this call details. And let us convert this into a frame first. Right click and just a frame selection. And I would like to name it as in call details. Call details. And we have to decrease that you know the frame size. You can see that frame length. So we are supposed to decrease that frame length to this. So how much scroll that you would like to have? So till here that I would like to have that vertical scroll. Then you select the frame, go to prototype, and you can go to that overflow behavior. And sorry, so you just select that call details and overflow behavior, and let us apply that vertical scroll. Let us play this now. Yeah, you can see this now. So it's very simple. But you can see here it is going out of this content. So it is overlapping the content there. So it's very simple. Go back to the design and select this. Go to the design. Sorry, it is not call types, it is supposed to be call details. Select that, go to the design and say clip content. Now let us go back to this. This will get updated automatically. You can just see here the scroll content is. So this is how it is uh, possible to add that vertical and horizontal scroll to the content in Figma. Let us close this. We have added that vertical scroll and horizontal scroll to the content. Let us see now how do we add vertical scroll to the entire page. To do that, let me duplicate this frame. There are two things. I can select this frame and say Control D, or else hold Alt key and drag, so that it will help you to create a duplicate copy of it. Right, that you can see here. Let me change the name of it. So let us say uh, zero 01. Now what I wanted to do is select this. Go to the design and let us expand. You can go back to call details. And let's move this clip content. You can see the original height of this content here. And let us increase that frame size, main frame size, page size. I would say the page size. Let's increase the frame size, main page size. Like to have something like this, and let us align this 
navigation bar bottom navigation bar to that page path so let's do this bottom as you can see here so i can just delete that for time being and what i can do is i can just select this let's go to the design let's say fix when scrolling now before testing this let us increase the frame size of call details also so i just wanted to scroll till here right and then test it now that you can see here first screen is visible and let us go to that uh, screen two and you can see here the entire entire page is getting scrolled that you can see here so this is how it is possible for us to move this you can see here now top navigation bar is also visible here so we just need to change that only the constraints so middle horizontal middle and vertical bottom so that it will be stick to that particular page bottom and we can see here complete page page get scrolls but that bottom navigation bar remains same so this is how that we can scroll the page and that page and we can apply scrolling to that particular content also